Hello, today I want to go over how to merge two different sub tools into one. So I have created this ring previously and it lives in the sub tool menu. For visible count, you can always adjust the number, which means, you know, from one object to the next how many object is showing on this list. So usually if I, you know, make more than one thing, I create it slightly higher. So it will show all of the items that is in my subtool instead of just showing four or three. Um, I would go a little bit higher so it will show all of my items. So right now, we are on this one. So when you are editing the ring or if you are making any changes, make sure whichever one that you're working on is highlighted. Like if I move my mouse away, you can see there's a black square around that subtool, meaning that that subtool has been selected. In this case, I will go ahead and show you my three stones, the main stones and the side stones. Um, so whenever you click on it, it has this option, like the eye, the little eye thing. When it's white, meaning that it's visible. When it's um, darker, meaning that you turn the visibility off, like this one, the settings. Um, that I had previously set, and now it is on again. Okay, so for um, to show you, I have created the main stone, and I'm going to turn on the side stones. So when you want to merge these two together, sometimes they are not um, aligned right, you know, above or below each other. So in this case, you can use this, these two tools to move it up or move it down. So let's say this was up here and you cannot, you know, merge it when it's not linked together. So you will see the reason why in a little bit, but right now I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. So I'm going to move it back down, select this one, make sure it's highlighted, go down to merge. So this merge lives in subtool. So you click subtool, you go down to merge, and then you click merge down. Make sure it's the right one because once you do that, you cannot go back. Or if you don't know for sure, you make sure you do a quick save with history on so then you can always go back. Um, in this case, I'm going to click OK. So now there are all three stones together in one subtool. You can check by looking on the right side here. You can see you know three little still in this icon and you can turn it off okay so when when you're in this you know sub tool that is highlighted even when you turn it off it won't turn off so you have to click somewhere else and by then you can check whether they're together or not which works for this case awesome all right that's it.